Amiri traveling with it. Gordon. Gordon to put the game to bed. And he does exactly that. All help is lost for Conte and Tottenham. We have booked our spot in the FA Cup final. Look at the scenes. Hey guys, welcome back to the Romel HD channel. Welcome back to another episode of this Everton career mode on FIFA 23. The last time we were here together, we booked a place, a booked a spot in Wembley again. We are in the FA Cup final against Liverpool. Um, but just before that, we are going to have two big games in the league. We have a game against Tottenham Hotspur and a game against the finalists, Liverpool. So yeah, we have a Merseyside derby before the Merseyside derby. And uh, yeah, we're only going to cover one um, one of those games in this episode. So we have two, ep uh, two games in the episode, Tottenham and Liverpool. So the last time we were together, uh, we took a look at the table towards the end of the episode. And this is where we're currently sitting, ninth place with 53 points it's an uphill battle in order to try and get european football but it's still possible nonetheless um i'm going to take a look at the chats so uh, we have some uh, inbox messages so kyle john he's still complaining about not receiving a new contract just yet i'm gonna let him go for free because of all the complaining that he's doing i'm probably gonna try scout a young player from the youth academy Dwight McNeil, I know uh, Damari Gray is fit again, boss, but I hope I've done enough to stay in the side. This is a big moment for me in my career. Um, I'm just going to say this isn't about you because Damari Gray is playing well, and uh, if McNeil continues to play well, he wouldn't have to worry about his spot. Moisa Ken, I know um, Kavaloon is fit again. It's the same message, the same message. Um, this isn't <laughs> about you. And uh, yeah. Damaro Gray is saying he's feeling much better, uh, he's ready to play. And there's pretty much the same sentiment from Calvert-Lewin as well. So um, I'm just going to say the same thing to all of them. Keep it consistent. All four of them need to know they are not rock solid starters. Um, Peter Wills is doing quite well. He's, he's not even ready. He's not even back fit. So what's he complaining about? So yeah, we're negotiating a brand new contract with a Damaro Gray. We're going to try to uh, force a rotational squad role on him. See uh, what him and his agent have to say about that. They've agreed. Oh, he's accepted it. So, yeah, we penned a grade down to a new contract. We've extended it by two years with a bump up to 42k. Uh, we can agree terms. Okay, so we're here now. It's a big encounter. We're fighting for um, a spot in any European competition. And uh, we are trying to secure the top half of the table because that's our main objective. That's our main goal. Whereas Tottenham... They are battling for top four, so we have two different goals. However, this is going to be a heavyweight matchup because we're not going to allow them to dominate us just off the rip. We're going to fight back. So, um, yeah, me and Conte, we always go head-to-head. -head. On FIFA 22, it was just like that. And uh, that last game that we played against them in, the, uh, in extra time in the FA Cup just shows it. We're going to slug it out. Hopefully, we secure the three points. So, yeah, let's get into the game. Okay, so yeah, I hope you guys are ready for this massive encounter at Goodison Park. Everton versus Tottenham Hotspur. The players are finally out. It's an overcast day. But the, the atmosphere, the atmosphere is live. I'm looking forward to this matchup. The only thing that worries me is our defensive record. Um, I just know that we're going to have to slug it out with them and probably try to outscore them. Hopefully, it's not going to be the case, but that's the feeling I have. Okay, so this is how we're going to line up. We have Pickford and Goal at the back. We have Aarons, Keane, Godfrey and Mitchell. In the middle, we have Rodriguez, Onana and Gallagher. Up top, we have Gray, Calvert-Lewin and Gordon. On the bench, we have Ken, Decore, Wills, Allen, Mikalenko, Holgate and Begovic. So this is how Tottenham are lining up. Loris is in goal. At the back, they have Doherty, Benzabirni, uh, Dyer, Davis and Sessegnon. Bentacore's in the middle with Basuma. Up top, they have Mora, Kane, and Son on their bench. They got Forza, Cadrado, Perisic, Richarlison, Romero, Skip, and Kulazewski. Really strong squad. Two sides that are definitely going to go down to the wire. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this game started. I'm looking forward to this matchup. So the game's all kicked off now. We're attacking to the right. Tottenham are attacking to the left. I'm just hoping for a consistent performance. Hope it's going to be consistent with our form. The 
The last uh, player to score against us was uh, Lucas Moura, so we definitely need to be careful. He wasn't someone uh, that we expected to bag a goal against us in that semi-final. But he did. So that means they pose a threat in all the players in their front three. They're not just going to be aiming for Son and Kane. <laughs> Why did I just do that? Because <laughs> uh, both teams are machines in their own in their own right. Tottenham are set up really well defensively to hit you on the break. Liverpool are just there to just pressure you into bare mistakes. Calvert Lewin with the early shot, first shot for us, and it's on target. Well, Loris easily deals with it. Well done, Onana. Keen. Just move this ball around quickly. Onana spreads it out to the right hand side. Damaro Gray, overlapping run from uh, Aaron's. Keeps it on. Ball gets uh, crossed. It's cleared away by Lucas. Doesn't go as far as Onana. There's uh, Gordon. Does really well. Ball's on his left foot. Puts the ball in. Header from Damar Gray. Heads it down into the ground. It goes out for a goal kick. Uh, good pressure from us. Just need to turn it into converted chances. Just bounces over the bar. Just to keep them uneased. Kane slipped in behind. He's got Godfrey chasing and uh, Godfrey wins the ball back. Really aggressive um, approach from Godfrey. It's got us quite far this season. Maintaining possession still. That's the important thing. Nice range of passing. The support from all, all, all over the, the field. Ah, oh, he's off. No, he's not. Not just yet. Gordon up against Doherty. Puts the ball in. Oh, again, Davis is there. Sesson Young. Well done, Max Ahrens. Oh, no. Giving the ball straight to uh, Son. Son plays it into Kane. Oh, we put ourselves in that situation. I tried to play out from the back, and then we've been punished. My own fault. Harry Kane takes the lead for Tottenham. Uh, look at this mistake. I thought Keane was going to support me. Maybe I should have just played it back to the keeper. Just chose the simple option. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I played into Tottenham's press. It's 1-0. Tottenham really sitting back, soaking up pressure. We knew they were going to play like this. It's even worse when they take the lead. Oh, nobody's supporting Mitchell. So yeah, we're going into the interval breaks. A disappointing start to the game. Our mistake has led to our um, to, the, to us conceding again. Harry Kane is the guy who got the goal. Some of the assist and uh, Max Aaron, the player with the mistake. But we are we're on them. That's that's the most we could do. Keep on them and try to break them down. So second half is underway. Kane gets the game kicked off. And uh, yeah, we're trailing one 0 Need to turn things around. Zoom up. She's charging at me early on. Lucas, of what's going on with Mitchell and Gallagher? Oh, what a save by Pickford. What is going on between those two? Lucas, son. Lucas. Forces a save out of Pickford. Well 
Well done, Godfrey. Oh, he's got a free kick. We've given away a free kick somehow. And uh, Kane's got this in a really, really good position. Let's just hope he can't hit it. He doesn't have it in his locker. I don't mind if I do. Hijacked. Overlapping run. Come on, Calvert Lewin. Come on, Calvert Lewin. Come on, Calvert. Oh, slow down. I shot slow down. Oh, my God. What have I done there? Miscued the shot. Shouldn't have slowed down. Should have kept going. He forced me out wide as well. Really good defender from, uh, I think that's uh, Ben Zabirni. All over the top. Calvert Lewin, second crack at it. There we go, 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. We did deserve that. I won't lie to you. We should have scored in the first half. We finally got a goal now. Let's kick on and push for the victory. They're kind of forced to come out of their shell now. Well done, Godfrey. So it's, it's a lot of mental sparring going on. There's a Gordon. No luck. The first time. Win the ball back now. Come on, stay on him. Eric Dyer with the strength. Plays it down the line into Lucas. And he he gets his team out of trouble. Here's Doherty. Bombing forward. Here's Kane. Switches play to Sesson Young. Son. Played him behind. Oh no, Keen should have just got it cleared. Come on, get back up, get back up. Get it cleared. But, oh, thank you, thank you, Rodriguez. Oh, God. We survived the storm. We survived the storm. Mistake is, uh, has been made. Are we going to respond? Oh no, Harry Kane played through on goal. Oh my god, what is this game? What is this game, man? All this all this stuff that's happening <laughs> has me on the edge of my seat. The ball just clips the post. Again, we just can't keep the ball. We really can't. They're not giving us time or the space to play ball. Oh no. Sesson Young hits the side netting. I thought that was in. Uh, Kane, he's making his way off the field. Quadrado's on for them. And uh, we're going to bring on Moise Ken. There's no rest for the wicked, man. No rest for the wicked. Pressure's still on us. No one's supporting me in possession anymore. We had a lot of options in the first half to play the ball to. Oh, come on, man. That's, just, that's not what I'm doing. That's the problem. That is not where I'm aiming it. And it's causing further issues for us in this game. Because uh, the more we give the ball away, the more attacks they can force upon us. And they, they are relentless. They are coming forward in numbers. So we can't afford to be penned back in our own half. Not in the dying moments either. We need to push. We need to push for the victory. It's important we make a statement. Sessa Young switches play. Perisic on either flank. A stretch on us. Has Pen uh, Benton caught. Son. Again, they're stretching us. Switch to the other flank. Left hand side. Has Sessa Young. Quadrado. Son. Takes a shot. Get it cleared. Come on. Eat. Come on. Counter. Counter. Please. Get forward. Oh, God's sake. These guys did not want to win, man. These guys did not want to win. We end up getting a draw against Tottenham. Oh, this is so irritating. This is really irritating. The way we played for the final 20 minutes. We definitely, we definitely need to get certain personnel into the squad and certain personnel out of the squad because that was so negative for my players. Some of them curled up and uh, disappeared.
So we have a new target for the channel, which is 500 subscribers. So please remember to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content and if you're new. Also, if you can kindly hit that notification bell just so you're notified when I'm about to upload. Okay, so now that you've done that, let's get back to the video. So we're back in the menu and uh, we've got more, more um, inbox messages. Uh, so yeah, Carol Lewis said, gutted about the result, but thanks for giving me a game. Really feel like the injuries are behind me now. So yeah, I'm just going to say don't rush yourself back. Um, Damari Gray, it was a disappointing result, but thanks for putting me back in. Maybe uh, I'm not quite ready yet, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to say you need time to get back to 100%. He didn't have a good game, I can admit that. But yeah, we're back in the menus. Uh, yeah, we're just going to skip forward to our training day. We have a plan completed. So uh, Duff is ready to be a right winger. We switched him to, to the right flank. Going to make him an inverted winger. In fact, we're going to check the rest of the players in the academy. See where, um, how we're getting on. So uh, Angus Patterson, he's ready to become a first team player. So we're going to promote him to the first team. As you can see, he's overall 66, potential 72 to 90, 6 foot 3. And we've turned him into a centre back. So he's going he's gonna to be a really good prospect. Uh, Lucas Johnston, 16 years of age, overall 60. Um, Barlett, Will Barlett, overall 60 as well, 16 years of age. We've just got a lot of uh, talented players coming through the ranks. We're just going to give some of them more time to uh, develop before we give them a, give them a, a first team contract. And then, uh, yeah, we'll build on them just by loaning them out. But yeah, the academy is looking good so far. Okay, Conor Gallagher now. Um, he's inboxing me. He's saying, hey, Gaffer, not sure what's going, what's going to happen, but I want... I wanted to say that I've really enjoyed my loan spell at the club. I hope we can make it a permanent deal. Um, we'll see what happens. That's my thing. I've, I've said time and time again, it will be more realistic for him to go back to Chelsea and fight for a spot at Chelsea. It's not really giving us the option to make it permanent, so we may have to wait for him to be recalled back by Chelsea and then go in for, go in for him if that would be the case. Okay, so just before a massive matchup, we have the press conference before the game against Liverpool. I'm expecting more of the same, um, maybe get a draw or a shock victory. Again, we are going to be direct, try to be positive, try to retain possession, and hopefully this time we can be consistent because the first half I thought we could definitely go on to win. When we conceded, I could see that it had an effect on my players. We equalized and I thought we were going to kick on from there, but that just wasn't the case. Uh, yeah, Liverpool are going to have a lot more to throw at us. They've been really consistent this season. The majority of the season, they've been top of the table. So yeah, it's going to be a really, really tough test. Everton versus Liverpool, Merseyside derby in the league. And this is how we are going to line up with Everton. Pickford's in goal at the back. We have Aarons, Keane, Godfrey and Mitchell. In the middle, we have Amiri, Davis and Gallagher. Up top, we have Gray, Calvert-Lewin and Gordon. Uh, on the bench, we have Ken, uh, Decore, Wills, Onana, Mikalenko, Holgate and Begovic. And our counterparts, they line up like this. Allison's in goal. Um, Alexander-Arnold's at the back with Matip, Van Dijk and Robertson. Keita's in the middle with Fabinho and Thiago. Up top, they have Salah, Nunez and Diaz. On their bench, they have Kelleher, uh, Gomez, Pino, J Jota, Konate, Carvalho and Firmino. So yeah, we're, we're playing for, the, for European football. They're playing for the title. Can we be the party crashers? Can we destroy the hopes for Liverpool? Man City, they're giving them a tough, uh, tough challenge this season. Can we help them out? I want to. I want to. Let's go. Okay, so the game's kicked off. We're attacking to the right. Liverpool are attacking to the left. This is going to be a tough matchup. We can't allow them to overrun us in possession. We have to try to nullify them, keep the ball ourselves as well. Not be wasteful. We do need to um, get a bit warmed up. Test the waters a bit as we make our way into the penalty area. Liverpool easily deal with our, our attempt to break into their box. Mary, 
Nice first touch, takes him away from Van Dyke. Amiri in the penalty area, takes a shot and Allison makes the save. Calvert-Lewin just wasn't making enough space or separating himself from the centre-back. So I couldn't square it to him, so I just went with the shot. It's tipped over the bar. It's Darwin Nunez. Salah. Salah on the right-hand side, causing problems as usual. Oh no, oh no, well done Pickford. Get the blocks in. <sighs> nice save again. Pickford's a star. He's definitely a star. I'm going to roll this ball out. Attack through from the right flank. 1-2 between Amiri and uh, Gray. Going to go direct. Play it down the middle. Gallagher should have gone down. He really should have gone down. I felt the contact from Van Dijk. Oh. Uh, they're going to keep piling on the pressure. We need to find, figure out a way to deal with it and hit them on the break at the right time. Look at that. Could have been a problem if, if he made the right connection. We've done well to win the ball back. Oh, nice ball in behind. Calvert-Lewin opens the scoring in the Merseyside derby. Goal number one. From Dominic Calvert-Lewin, I'm sure that's his 37th in the league. He turns up when we needed him. Nice ball played in behind. Who's it by? Let's let's see. It's Damari Gray. Nice movement from Calvert-Lewin. Liverpool defence playing idle. Klopp is not pleased with that. Straight away, we're not retaining possession. As well as uh, we're, we're used to. Well done, Amiri. Holds off the challenges from uh, Van Dijk. Damaro Gray puts the ball in. Cleared away by uh, Alexander-Arnold. And we can go into the interval. 1-0 up at Goodison Park. Right now, Merseyside is blue. We've got another 45 minutes to play. So the second half is underway. We're leading 1-0 because of Calvert-Lewin's goal in the 35th minute. So you can uh, hear the atmosphere is really loud. And that's the Everton fans singing right now. Well done, Godfrey. Stalking uh, Mo Salah. Well done, Gallagher. Long shot. Oh, nice save by Pickford. The concentration from my players is really good so far. We need to keep this up. It's a corner kick to Liverpool. Thiago puts the ball down. We need to defend this. 49 minutes gone. It looks like they're going to take it short. I'm going to take my time. I'm pressing uh, Salah. Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. Come on. It's a simple manoeuvre from Luis Diaz. Moves the ball onto his right foot and smashes it home from 1-1. Out of nothing, they've created a goal. Okay, so we're making a double change. And Mary and Tom Davis, they're making their way off the field. The Corey and Onana, they're going to grace us with their presence. Hopefully, these two changes will change the dynamic of the midfield battle. We need a bit more energy. And Mary's played decent, decent link up between uh, him and his uh, winger and him and his striker. But... We need a bit more energy in the midfield because uh, that's basically what this, this match is based on. We're going back and forth. We're going to need the energy. Come on. Gordon, please run with me, Calvert-Lewin. Please run with me, Calvert-Lewin. He's far behind. We're going to go alone. And Gordon gets the second goal for Everton in the Merseyside derby. Fantastic, fantastic finish from the winger. Takes the ball on the stride. Really composed. Look at this. Trent definitely wasn't catching him. Matip had no chance. Allison struggling to get a hand to the ball. Probably really close to, to doing so, yeah. Not too far away. I'm going to try to play a bit smarter now. I'm going to drop to defensive. It's about... 
being tactical when you're in a position like this. Someone needs to put a foot in. Can't allow them to keep playing the ball because this is what's going to happen. What is going on with my keeper? He's just laid there and allowed them to score. I normally praise Pickford, but he should be doing way better there. He should be doing way better. I've seen him take, take on shots like that. I've seen him charge down shots like that. Look at this. He, he just, just doesn't, doesn't, just doesn't cover the right-hand side of the goal. Look at this. Poor positioning. Poor reflex as well. He should have been anticipating the shot. Big decision. Big decision. Calvin Lewin is making way for Moise Ken. We're bringing on Mikhelenko and we are taking off uh, Mitchell. Pino's on for Mo Salah. No, not Mo Salah, sorry. Who's he on for? I didn't quite catch that. He's on for someone. <laughs> Demaro Gray. I think he, they taken a Van... Yeah, they took a Van Dyke and bought on Pino. Let's punish them for that. Mikhelenko. 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 Oh my God, Mikhelenko. Do better than that. Mikhelenko needs to do better than that. It remains 2-2. Two -two. Ball goes in. Oh, cleared away. Dink over the top. Ref, handball. Thank you. We'll take that. We'll take that. Uh, Gordon with the free kick. Thiago's off. Jota's on. Seven minutes to go. It's 2-2. Two -two. Uh, what's it going to take? What is it going to take? It's going to take something special. And they hit low, curl it. <sighs> Safe from Allison. Safe from Allison. Try to go a bit lower. Just curl it, curve it around. You have to stretch your right hand to that. Off the time. The quality needs to improve. We've got four minutes remaining. Jeremy Pino. Alexander Arnold. Get, he gets caught in possession. We need to be punishing them instantly. Instantly. Look at that pass from Onana. Not great, but there's a mistake from uh, Fabino. <sighs> These guys, man, they're not serious. They're not serious. They're not serious. They're really not. Come on, take the shot first time. Take the shot first time. Another shocking result. Two draws in one episode. Two games we could have easily won if we just showed some fight, desire and determination. Again, sloppy defending in this episode has let us down. We dropped four points. We could have had we could have had six. We took it to them. They looked very vulnerable and fragile, but uh, in the end, the honors are all even. For further updates outside of the channel, please be sure to follow me on Instagram at RomelHD so you get further updates such as me premiering a video, if I'm recording a video or making new content and also when I'm about to upload. So follow me on Instagram at RomelHD. Okay, so we're in the menu now after those two shocking results. Rather disappointing um, way to end this episode, rather disappointing way um, to go into those two clashes and uh, not get the first goal we conceded first both times we had to fight back when we did fight back we looked like going ahead and uh going ahead going ahead to go and get the three points but defensively we we've, we've let ourselves down time and time after again if we just date all the way back to the start of the season these results have been consistent 4-1 to get um to to city 4-1 to spurs 5-2 to fulham 6-2 to liverpool 3-1 to leeds and it just goes on 6-1 to, to Aston Villa. Just really shocking defenders. Like, they lose their concentration when it matters the most. And uh, yeah, it's definitely going to cost us a European spot. Let's quickly take a look at the league table to see what effect 
that game has had. So as you can see, we're sitting ninth with 55 points on the table. Is there any hope of European football? Sixth place um, is Newcastle with 60 points and we have 55 points. We're five points behind them. So we need Newcastle to drop uh, points in their next uh, two games, their last two games. And then Chelsea, Chelsea and West Ham also have to drop points. So yeah, we're not going to automatically qualify for Europe. I don't think we, we, we have it in us. We keep dropping points when it matters the most. So we're going to have to go down the route of the FA Cup. And uh, we are facing off against the side that we just drew against. And they're not just going to allow us to win the FA Cup like that. It's a piece of silverware that they would love to have in their cabinet. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to give it our all in the next episode. Um, on that note, we are going to quickly take a look at the calendar as well. Just to see uh, what we are going to see in the final episode. The last episode is going to be a stream. We're going to stream the final and finish off the season with uh, the Leicester and the Bournemouth game. So yeah, that's what you should expect for the last episode. We have a, an away game in the league to Leicester City and at home we're going to end the season against Bournemouth. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please remember to leave a sub. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, drop a like as well. Drop some comments in the section below. Also, um, hit the notification bell just to be notified when I'm going live. Or if I'm uh, premiering a video, you will know. If I've uploaded, you'll find out as well. And follow me on Instagram at RamelHD. And uh, yeah, I do have a Discord. I'm figuring out how to how Discords work, how to invite people and stuff like that. The link is in the description below. It's on my page too. So yeah, um, yeah, I just need to figure it out. And uh, yeah, it's just a way for me to communicate with you guys outside of the channel. Yeah, just click that and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out how to get it working. But yeah, I hope to see you guys in episode uh, number eight. Take care for now. Peace.